Hello, welcome to our very messy arts and crafts room slash laundry room slash pantry. So I kind of forgot to do like an introduction earlier, so you probably are wondering like what this whole video is about. And basically I go to art school and everything is online right now. And our first assignment for my workshop, which is a sewing workshop, is to make a topsy-turvy garment. And I will explain that in a second. But yeah, it ends up looking um, pretty interesting. I would not wear this in public like I hoped I would want to, but it was a fun learning experience nonetheless. So I want this to be something that I feel like I could wear in public, but I also want it to relate to the theme of the assignment, of course, which is topsy-turvy. She wants it to represent kind of the topsy-turvy world that we're living in right now. You know, it's coronavirus and stuff and how everything is crazy, so that's why I'm choosing an asymmetrical design for my piece. And it's not fully finished, it's not fully there, because a lot of things right now feel like they're just not fully there. It feels like things are just up in the air, you know? A lot of things are- why am I rhyming? Am I like Dr. Seuss or something? I don't know. I have this whole entire shelf where I keep a bunch of extra art supplies that cannot fit in my room. And on it has a bunch of fabric that my friend gave me, which is really nice of her. I have no idea what's in some of these bags, and I'm just going to use what I have. Let's see what we got. Alright. I'm digging it. Ooh, there's a lot of cool fabrics in here. Ugh, I can't eat something like that. Something that displays topsy-turvy craziness is just crazy clashing patterns. But that would make my garment look very ugly. I want it to still be like aesthetic, still bring in design elements, you know? But I still want it to illustrate that message. We have some cute little quilted stuff. We got more sparkly, not a lot though. Looks like we have a pillowcase. She also threw in some patterns too. This is a cute pattern. It's not a whole lot of fabric, so maybe I could use it for the cuffs. Oh, I'll set that to the side. Ooh, more patterns. Ugh. This is kind of like a curtain, very thick. There's a lot of this fabric in this in here. And it has a nicer, kind of thicker sheer on one side and soft on the other texture. Oh my god, look at this fluffy pink. That is so cute. I like the shiny, shiny texture right here. I don't know, I do want this stuff to go together. Maybe I'll bring in a few things that clash though. So far I have these. Mm. One of the bags my friend gave me ripped, so I just had to put it in one of these carts. Oh, it smells. Why did I put that on my head? Ooh. See, I don't want to use all the cool fabric though right now too, because I'm going to have a few more assignments and really I'm going to only be able to use the stuff that I have in here. I feel like I'm starting to get a sense of her grandma's style, just based off of everything in here. I feel like all the frilly pink stuff is for like her grandkids and then all the rest is for like herself. So now that I have my garment all picked out, um, I am just making pattern pieces based on this jacket because your girl cannot make up these pattern pieces by herself. I cut it on the wrong side. I'm gonna have to recut this piece. Ugh, I'm wasting fabric. Oh, we're in focus. Nope, we're not. I'm making the sleeve and this little front area. I'm gonna save that for a bit later, I think. And I have the two yokes in the front, the yoke in the back. I think that's what they're called anyway. So I'm trying to do this in a order that makes sense, but honestly, I'm kind of winging this whole thing. I 
I don't know how I managed to wake up at noon. will go on it like that. You're such a good seamstress. Thank you. Yeah, you cut on really quick. Unless I'm effing all this up. Yeah, I don't think you are. I started a bit too far, so I had to backpedal a lot. Uh, oops. Okay, so I just sewed this piece to this back piece. I'm gonna wait to sew in this side piece because I still wanna figure out what I wanna do with it. So I'm gonna do this kind of last. So now I'm gonna sew on this back, I think. And then the yoke, unless, yeah. Because it looks like the yoke is sewed on top of the back. So I'm gonna sew on the back and then the yoke. Yeah. So now time to sew on. This is the back piece, part of the back. So on the main back piece to the side back piece, like so. Well, actually, it's more like, oh man, did I cut this out wrong? No. Mm, wait a minute. I'm confusing myself. Oh, I see. It goes on top. Oh, okay. So it goes on top to continue that sleeve hole area. So I'm just going to flip this. Okay, I figured it out. It's not like a stitch where you like fold it, sew it right sides together and then flip it. It's like just on top, kind of like applique. No, that's not the right word. <laughs> just sew it on top. So yes. So I've pinned this on top and I'm just gonna sew as close as I can to the edge right here. And now we have this, where this is the front, and this is the back. And here's where the arm will go. Next, I think I'll add on this back yoke, because, um, why not? <laughs> some interfacing in between and it's just not the thread isn't staying there it'll just like make the holes and then like I don't know it just doesn't stay and I watched this YouTube video on how to sew this and apparently you need this special needle and you need sewers lubricant wax paper I'm just not this advanced apparently to sew this children's fabric so I'm just gonna I think choose a, a fabric but kind of sad because I really like it. I'm gonna look through my fabric inventory and see if I can find something that will replace this that I feel like is just as cool but if not I will hand sew it I suppose.
Hello. I did not film yesterday while I was working on it because I ran out of storage space, but I did a lot. But I still have some touching up to do on this garment, so I shall show you. And I don't know what's happening here. Okay. Here's the front. I added this little thing down here to hold everything together. I put in this um, tool collar, but I think I'm gonna replace it with a black collar so it can match the bottom. And I put in these little tie boys. And you take these two things together and just tie them. And there you go. Kinda looks silly, honestly, but it was fun to make, so here's the back. So I'm gonna replace this collar and get back to you. So I have an hour before class, so I need to finish this, take my photos, maybe make an undershirt to go with this because I want something to match. I knew I should have gone with the black collar, but then I was like, you know, I want this to be crazy looking, so two collar would be cool. But then I was like, no, black collar makes more sense. Just looks better. Ah, I know I ripped some of the tool, but tool is Ah, and we're free. I gotta take all this extra thread off. I feel like I always waste so much thread. Now time to pin. We should take a sec to iron this so that it's easier to fold. So I'm just gonna fold everything to the inside. Like this. And then I'm gonna put my fabric in between and fold that. So then it creates a nice finish. Pin this it took like 10 minutes. It didn't sew over, so it's open and the in it in it it. But I'm just gonna take black thread and hope no one sees it, because uh, I have class in 30 minutes, so I'm taking a photo and this bitch ain't got time for um ah! redoing it. Closest thing the black thread we had was like navy blue. I had a black bobbin, but I couldn't find black black thread or anything. Okay, so yes, if you didn't see earlier, I sewed this part on, but it didn't catch the other side and it's still open. So now I have to sew it together. Fixed it. We have a collar that is on. And the collar doesn't go all the way around because it, I don't know, doesn't hit everywhere, but it gets the back. I think the back's my favorite part. I kind of want to make a whole shirt that's just this white fabric and then this green at the back. I think that'd be really cool because I'm not a huge fan of this orange-yellow, actually. Here are some photos that I submitted for my class. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I did not end up making a shirt to go underneath. I might do that later, but honestly, I kind of want to focus on my next projects because this workshop is so short and I really want to make the most out of it. Let me know down in the comments if you liked this style of video. I will probably be making more since I want to document more of how I'm working in my workshop. So yeah, I'll see you next time.